All right, football Sunday, uh, week three of the NFL schedule, and I wanted some pizza uh, for the uh, festivities, so I went back to uh, Pizza Hut and decided to film this uh, before I just uh, chowed down on it because uh, when this came out a while ago and then they re-released it, I enjoyed it. Now, there's some people that really enjoy it. There's some people that really don't enjoy it. And then there's a fine line in the middle. Uh, so we're gonna see if it's changed any. It's the Detroit-style pizza from Pizza Hut. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. I almost fumbled my words right there. Football reference. Let's see how many football references I can squeeze into this video if I think about it. All right, so Detroit style pizza. I reviewed this when it first came out and then I reviewed it when it came back. They're bringing it back for a limited time. I went with the double uh, pepperoni. This is the square pizza. Get out of here. Uh, this is the square pizza. Has the cheese, but it has the sauce on the top. And then you're going to have uh, what should be double pepperoni. This does not look like double pepperoni. So check it out right there. That is Detroit style, I guess. And that's another thing. People will jump in the comments. I'm from Detroit, and that's not Detroit style. All right, so listen. This is a fast food chain pizza spot that is making something similar to the Detroit style of uh, some kind of pizza. I've only been to Detroit once for a uh, Yankee playoff game. Uh, I actually enjoyed it. Shout out Detroit. I had a good time. Uh, so let's get one of these slices out. So let's just keep an open mind right here. This is a fast food pizza, a conveyor belt pizza. And if they want to call something Chicago style, New York style, which we know uh, they've done many times, and now they're doing Detroit style, check it out right there. Tons of sauce on each slice, sauce on the top, Got the cheese right there, the uh, old world uh, pepperoni, and then the crust. I, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I enjoyed the flavor of this the first time. I don't know if I liked it more the second time. So here we go, three times a charm. Is there a song about that? Three, that's the magic number. All right, that's De La Soul. That is a deep cut, not a football reference, but an old school 80s uh, rap reference. All right, so wish me luck. The uh, Detroit style pizza. Uh, how can you hate on this? People out there, okay, if it's not 100% uh, authentic Detroit, I get it. If it's not 100% your speed, I get it. But if you're giving me a uh, sauce, you're giving me melted cheese, and it looks like there is a bounty of cheese right here, and the crust is good, you're gonna have some caramelization on the edge right there. How, I mean, how can this be terrible? <laughs> how can it be terrible? I've seen some where like the sauce is all over. I don't know if that happened in transit. Someone's driving the whip uh, going all over the place and the sauce is going and they get home and they post a picture. They're like, look at this Pizza Hut, even though it was their fault. All right, I've talked enough. Let's take a bite. Uh, my memory, my memory is already remembering. My memory, yeah. All right, yeah, that smell. All right, let's take a bite. Mm -hmm. Whoa, almost lost one of the uh, pepperoni, tried to escape Shawshank on me. I need more pepperoni. Right off the bat, double pepperoni. I need more pepperoni, but tons of cheese. Doughy, cheesy, saucy, needs more pepperoni. I enjoy the flavor of that sauce. I don't know why, I just do. Let's get one of these off. Unprofessional, keeping the uh, sauce on the mouth region. All right, so listen, and again, this pizza, $12.99. We've done some reviews uh, currently where the prices are, whoo, through the roof on some things, uh, but right here, $12.99, what do we got? Eight uh, squares, we got the eight square pie. Um, I like it, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you out there that says, hey, that's not Detroit. I'm sorry. They say, hey, that pizza's horrible. I'm sorry. I enjoy it. It's doughy. If it's cooked right, if it's made right, it is what it is. Uh, a couple more bites. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. All right, so also, forgot to mention, it's double the uh, pepperoni, but it has the old world pepperoni. And then if you can see on the bottom right there, you see it right there, it has a bunch of the uh, regular pepperoni. I still want more pepperoni. Do a shot every time I say uh, pepperoni and you will be on the floor. Thank me tomorrow, Monday morning quarterback. Football records. Mm. I put a blitz on that bite. All right, that's it. All right, so listen, uh, the dough is pillowy, the crust is nice, and we're about to go right into this uh, caramelized edge right there. I enjoy the flavor of the sauce. There is enough sauce on each square except this corner slice right here, so I guess sometimes you're going to have uh, some casualties, only a little bit of sauce right there. So if you're making this uh, and you are the uh, pizza artist over at Pizza Hut, you got to come correct. This is such a specialty pizza, specialty pizza. It has the sauce on top. You're doing something uh, very different. You need to really pay attention and make sure this goes out to the customer that they're going to have a great experience. So I get where sometimes things aren't made the right way, but for the taste of it, I'm okay with it. That rhymed. Did it rhyme? No, I just said it at the end of both sentences. Rookie move. Yeah. All right, so if I had to give this a rating, now I didn't go back and watch my first two reviews. Uh, it might be close to the 90 range in those. I'm gonna give this a solid 80. Um, I'm gonna give it an 86. I like it. You put more sauce on it, maybe a little more cheese on the end slices. Like I said, not every uh, square is getting the uh, appropriate amount of toppings, and I definitely needed more pepperoni. Um, so I like it. My third time around, and again for $12.99, let me show you one more slice right there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, comments below, light it up. Are you in favor of the Detroit style pizza? Keeping everything I said in mind. Go into it with an open mind. Fast food conveyor belt pizza, and they are attempting a style of pizza for fast food pizza. I cannot stress that enough. You can't be too critical of things like this unless they really mess up the uh, order. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. All right, bonus footage. Uh, there we go. Mike's Hot Honey. We are trying some Mike's Hot Honey on this middle slice of pie right here. Detroit style pie. Let's go. Do you see it? Do you see it? Whoa, there you go. I'll put it on the end there. I mentioned in some video a couple weeks ago that uh, every kitchen in America should have Mike's Hot Honey. It goes on everything. It goes on everything. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Picked it up a notch. Mm. 